What is up, Madden 25 gamers? Welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be discussing how to stop the strong power in Madden 25. And in today's video, uh, we're going to be talking about run defense the next couple of days in our featured video of the day. But today's run defense is for the strong power. Uh, one of the things, if we've learned anything about Madden 25, it is that uh, different running sets and formations require different running defenses in the sense that you cannot use just one defense. Uh, it's not one size fits all as far as run defense this year. Uh, obviously the inverted cover two that we've broken down numerous times does uh, give you some kind of basic fundamentals of run defense, but as far as the more advanced stuff, we have it for you here in today's video. So uh, the strong power run defense, we're using the 3-4 defensive playbook and the uh, real quickly, guys, what you want to do is you want to have your strongest um, outside linebackers at outside linebackers. So for the Browns, we have um, we have Desmond Bryant and then Phil Kruger on the outside. And on the inside, we're going to have Phil Taylor and uh, I to be Ruben. Those are our four strongest guys. And then in the middle line, uh, middle linebacker, we want to have guys that pursue really good. So we're going to have Bacavius Mingo and uh, Dequel Jackson. On our corners, this is important. We want to make sure that our corners are safeties. Uh, so for the Browns, we like to put T.J. Ward in there, and then we also like to put, uh, if I can find my guy here, uh, Jay Slaughter. I think it's Janoris Slaughter. Uh, and that free safety and strong safety, we like to put uh, on the left side safety. We like to put our best covering player, so that's Joe Hayden. And then on the right side safety, we like to just put a guy that can pursue and tackle really well. And for the bra or the Browns, that's Poyer here. And then uh, at the slot corner position, again, we want to put another safety. Um, and so if you, as you guys could probably tell by now, uh, we're loading up our, our safety so that we can have more beef on the field. Um, and that's the first step in any run defense is having better personnel. Uh, but anyways, guys, we're going to talk about how to stop a strong power. And we're going to use the plays strong corner to fire and the play corner fire to roll. Okay, so first play we're going to be using is a strong corner to fire. This is when they're in this look right here. And what we want to do is we want to base align our defense. We want to pinch our defensive line. And this is going to make it look like our mid zone blitz that we talked about a couple of days ago. We want to then crash our defensive line down. And if this messes with the linebackers, I think I accidentally run commit. But uh, anyway, let's just put some random zones here because um, I don't remember the exact zones of this play, but we want to pass commit uh, after we crash our line down. And you see here, we should be able to contain that run off that right edge. As you see, if Frank Gore doesn't break that tackle, uh, we do pretty well. And I'm trying to find run defenses without uh, having, without you guys having to have an elite user skill to, to do it. Um, another, another situation you can do here is maybe place this strong safety on the left side in a flat zone. And uh, by doing that, we're going to have him a little bit better of a pursuit angle outside to kind of contain the edge. And there you see exactly an example of the shutdown run defense this provides uh, for the strong power. Now, another thing uh, that we like to do that you could potentially do if you want to is take Mingo and put him into a deep zone. And then, uh, obviously, we want to pass commit still, so we have that pursuit. And you're just going to run through the A gap and try to try to muddy it up in the backfield. As you see there, uh, we were actually pretty successful. Uh, but again, I don't like to use this.